Introduce me to Olivia, which is why I wanted to ask you if you would do me the honor of being my best. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Jeremy, Michael, my twin brother. I can't believe you've come back after being lost at sea for 12 years. Will you be my best man? Yes. I hope you too. I'll be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Michael was my last single guy friend, Francis. He was my last chance to be a best man. Being a best man is something I've dreamt of my entire life. My dream is over, Francis. They say you have a better chance of getting hit by a meteor than of being a best man after you're 40. Roger. So we know it's true then. Come on, think. You must have one single guy friend. Well, there is one. Who wants to see me pee on this cake? <laughs> Principal Brian Lewis. My last single guy friend. through this odd tiny door. I have been waiting for you. And I, you. What's happening? What are we talking about? I need you shorts. I don't know. Like little Kim, I have a real tough body for shorts. How much are they? Like everything at Ross, it is impossible to tell because the price tag has fallen off. Try them on, but I don't. My God, they're amazing. Oh, oh, oh. I wish Mom could figure out Skype so I could show her these shorts. I want to apologize again for my behavior at the school the other night. I take allergy medicine, and I'm not supposed to drink 14 shots of tequila when I'm on it. So you should think about settling down. Find a nice woman, get married, share your life with someone. When you say share my life, I hear share my tequila, and I think, no. Here, try a hot wing. They're 100% boneless. No bones. Zero. Boneless? <laughs> they got some food scientists up in here. <laughs> bones full? They are full of bones? Bro, get married, bro. Okay, oh, damn it, all right. Yes, no 
hope you get your life on the right path. Now we just have to find someone to marry you. Well, I was seeing a real classy broad recently. Totally different from all the women hookers. Hookers, thank you, that I've dated in the past. But she dumped me because I wouldn't commit. Perfect. Who is she? Yes, I broke up with Brian because I wasn't his first priority. It was cocaine, which he pronounced cute Superintendent, his brush with death has changed him. He wants to get married now. I'll marry him if he's serious. He is serious. He is dead serious. No drugs, no drinking, and a home-cooked meal with my parents two nights a week. Agreed on the drugs and drinking, and parents' dinner once a week at a restaurant. And he'd like you to give him a lefty cappuccino. What's that? It's not something you'd agree to if you knew what it was. Agreed. Now, do you have something to ask me, Brian? Me, your man friend who has led you down this blissful and best life path? Oh, okay. Do you want to be my... Do you want to maybe do this right, or are you going to have ass it? Get down on one knee? Okay, now. Do it now. Everything is perfect. Stan, will you be my best man? Oh, yes. Yes, I will. Up until now, I've just been a great man. Now, I will be a best man. And I'm the crest man. I'm living in my car. And obviously, the last dance of the night will be the Humpty Dance. He's two weeks sober, jogging every day, sleeping 14 hours a night. Can't get in trouble if I'm asleep. He's pronouncing cocaine properly, hasn't peed on any cake, and hasn't challenged a dog to a fist fight in a day. <sighs> Sorry to rush off, but I've got a city council meeting. I'm going to listen to the CD you made me in the car. I love track eight. Oh, you like track eight, and you're gonna love track seven. I've already heard track seven. Oh, you're gonna love it. Okay, did you bring the old photos for the bachelor party slideshow? Right here. This looks like a publicity photo for different strokes. It's actually a picture of my family, but my life was the inspiration for that show. You're kidding. Nope. My older brother William, a.k.a. Willis, and I were adopted by a rich white guy. All that stuff really happened to me. I smoked a pack of cigarettes in the closet, and a fat man tried to touch me and my friend in a bicycle shop. You just left Dudley there! I did. He's real messed up now. That's me and Tracy Bryan, my prison cellmate for three years. We lost touch when I got out. I don't even know if he's still in the joint or what. <laughs> man, we go way back like car seats. Yo, Tracy, you gonna lift weights? Yeah, right. Nothing left to do in here but get strong. What you looking at, bitch? Bitch, I'm looking at you, bitch. Uh oh. <laughs> Lewis is obviously deep in thought. Guess I'll take this opportunity to do my own thinking. Hey, I should find his old cellmate, Tracy, and invite him to the wedding. What a great best man thing to do. <sighs> Stan, you and me is thinking. Roger, I've seen you in shorts. You look terrible in them. Remember, I told you not to wear shorts. I see my beauty has caused you to be quiet mid-sentence. Oh, my God. H how is that even possible? I don't know. I mean, what? But much like the appeal of the Ugg boot, I'm not questioning it, just accepting it. Now, I need to think of a perfect venue to debut my new shorts. What if you wear them up in the club? In Miami? Welcome to Miami. Enjoy your stay. And now, phase three, to enroll at Florida State University. How did a baby and a dog get on a flight to Miami? Guess they're not as interested in reality as we are. Yep, we're keeping it real. Just a boy and an alien on a bus. A boy and an alien in a wig and magical shorts on a bus. Attention, everyone. As the best man, I've got a special surprise for the group. 
to some doing, but I finally managed to find him. Tracy Bryant, your old cellmate. Tracy? Been a long time, Brian. I can't believe you're getting married. Because you're already married. To me? <gasps> I'm in prison life. This ring is made out of love and commitment and pipe cleaners and human teeth. You're married? Mm-hmm. To this bitch. Ellen, I can explain. Yeah, explain how you're going to stand here in front of all these nice people and commit a sin like this. How is this even possible? Allow me to break it down for you. According to prison rules, I became Lewis's bitch after he beat up my previous husband. After that, we had three years of wedded bliss. We shared a home, a job, and some excellent toilet wine. But that was years ago. Prison rules are serious. We follow them till we die. It took me 15 years to find you, Big Lou. And I'm never leaving you again. Ever. Forever. Get out of here, Tracy. I don't need this now. I finally got my life on track. I take cocaine now. This is all your fault. Don't let him.